So I, I thought I should talk today, maybe start by welcoming you to Cape Town and to the University of Cape Town. We are delighted to have you. Uh, and I thought to talk about the changing world that we live in and the kind of leadership that this changing world demands of us, those of us who are in positions of leadership. We now, at the moment, where leadership itself needs to transform, not only who is leading, but how we lead. Oftentimes people think, well, you change what happens by getting a new leader. But we need more than just a new leader. We need new ways of leading. The days of leaders having complete command over their organizations are gone. The transformative leader must be prepared to let their life and their decisions to be part of the message of change. I have accepted every characterization that people have made of me being on social media, I've accepted it as, a, as, as, as part of the journey because I see the value and I can see that it actually enables me to lead better. I uh, finished my bachelor's degree in the university in China, Beijing. It's Renmin University. Uh, it's our first time to cooperate with uh, uh, GSB. And uh, it's also, I think, for most of our participants, and it's uh, their first uh, experience in Africa. I think it's a very precious opportunity for us to take in this program in GSB. And the first thing, we are all interested in the opportunities in Africa, and especially in the One Belt, One Road policy from China. Um, we are looking more opportunities into the new continent, into the African countries. We are interested in, in developing the, uh, exploring the new opportunities here. As an authority on business education in Africa and South Africa in particular, uh, we believe we're adding significant value to the EMBA alumni from Huanghua, uh, School of Management at Peking University in a number of ways. For example, we're exposing them to investment opportunities on the African continent, uh, understanding how to do business in Africa, understanding the cultural uh, challenges that businessmen from China are going to uh, face when they come into Africa, and, and how best to equip themselves so their businesses and business opportunities are successful on the African continent. <laughs> 